2016. Think of how far we've come, gentlemen. Our starting quarterback, Teddy Bridgewater, shattered his knee. Done for the year. Horrible. Got Sam Bradford at the last minute. He had to learn on the fly. Not to mention the fact that we had to part ways with Norv Turner. What a sack shit of a season that that was. But no more. We are now turning the page. The past is the past. Our time is now. The league ain't ready for this. Yeah, would you look at that. On Monday Night Football, too. The whole world's shocked, huh? <laughs> Not us. Sam Bradford has a knee injury already? The season just started. He has a knee injury? Pat, what are we going to do? Well, Mike, uh, we'll draw up some plays for our backup quarterback and just do the best we can. <laughs> oh, all of our hopes and dreams now rest on the shoulders of Case Keenum. Isn't that just fantastic? Oh, this is perfect. The defense wasn't even half bad. Xavier Rhodes, he shut down Antonio Brown, but it doesn't matter. You know why? Because our quarterback stinks. Okay. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. You know what? I owe you guys a huge apology. I've just been super stressed out as of lately. Very irritable. I need to stop being so negative and such a Debbie Downer. You know what? I make a promise to you guys right now, to this whole organization. I promise that I, no matter what happens, I'm going to just keep the faith and stay positive. Dalvin Cook tore his ACL? What the shit is this? Mike, relax. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What did you say? I'm saying you need to calm down. Oh, you want me to calm down? You are absolutely correct, Rick. In fact, let me go ahead and give a call to the calm down department. Hello? Hi! Weird, I didn't think they'd be open today. I just wanted to give you guys a quick call because not only have we lost our starting quarterback for the year, in addition to this, we also have lost our starting rookie running back for the season. How would you currently assess our situation right now? Mm-hmm. Oh, we're fucked, you say? Thanks a lot. Don't you tell me to fucking calm down, Rick! <sighs> Season's over. I mean, at this point, you might as well throw the whole team in the trash. To go 3-2 and two, the first five games of the season, given the current circumstances? I mean, we'll take that. Okay, back-to-back -back divisional wins. Nice job. Wow. And hey, that was a clean hit on Aaron Rodgers, by the way. Nothing dirty about it. Three game win streak. Hot damn. Oh, would someone get me a cup of tea and some biscuits to celebrate the ass kicking we just delivered? Kirk Cousins. Ha! What a joke of a quarterback. Ain't nobody winning nothing with Kirk Cousins on their team. <laughs> Welcome to my house. Tell Jared Goff, get out. My defense is too stout. My mind's filled with no old doubt. We're on a seven-game win streak. Man, oh, dude. Yo, this dude, Case Keenum, he's playing with a horseshoe or something. I mean, at this point, just print the shirts. <laughs> you might as well hand us the Lombardi Trophy right now.
You know what? Not that big of a deal. No, seriously, guys, don't freak out. You know why? It's better to get the loss out the way now. That way, we can prepare for the playoffs tomorrow. However, while we're on the subject, I find it extremely convenient that the refs decided to not throw a flag on a clear holding penalty on Matt Khalil. But whatever, it's fine. Don't even worry about it. Seriously, why are we even here? This is a travesty for the other teams that have to play us. Bum, 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 ba da da da. No, pack, no, wicka, wicka, wicka. Bum, 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 ba da da da. No, pack, no, wicka, wicka, wicka. Bum, bum, ba da da da. No, pack, no, pack, no. remix. Bum, bum, ba da da da. No, pack, no. I didn't have a single shred of doubt this season, gentlemen. It's crazy. I wish we got that number one seed, though, but it's okay. We'll settle for the number two seed. It's all good. First round by, here we come, baby. We just got to figure out who we're playing in the divisional round. Well, 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 look what the cat dragged in. Remember when we beat the Saints by 10 in week one? Better chalk that up to another W. Woo! Man, that was a close one, wasn't it? Man, but guess what? That's what it's all about, right? Now listen up. Game ball goes to Case and Stefan. That play will go down in history as one of the best ever. Give yourselves a round of applause. Right? But we're not done yet, are we? We're just getting started. You see, we now have to travel to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where they look at us like a bunch of chumps. Never mind the fact that we have the number one defense in the league. And our weapons on offense... Can't nobody guard them? No. And yet, they think they're just going to steamroll all over us. Man, please, tell you what. It's time that people put some respect on our names. And to do that, we're going to go to Philadelphia and show them what the great state of Minnesota is all about. Juicy Lucy's over cheese sticks. Ric Flair over Rocky Balboa. Mall of America over the Liberty Bell. KG over AI. Prince over Meek Mill. We're brothers, we're family, and family sticks together. What the hell was that? Huh? What, no, nobody can explain themselves? What the fuck was that? In all my years of coaching, that is the most pathetic piece of crap I've ever seen. Disgusting. Soft. I just, I don't even, I don't even know if I have the words to even say what. Mac, what the hell are you doing? Oh, I'm just sending a tweet out to the fans, coach. Oh yeah? Saying what? The best is yet to come. Skull. That's what you wrote. Five minutes after the game ended? Mm-hmm. Where was that when you were on the field? I'm sick of this shit. Major changes are coming. You better believe it. Y'all ain't ruining my legacy, dawg. Straight up. 